If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hey everybody, The Frugal Filmmaker here doing something I've never done before and that's create an episode really quickly in response to a concerned viewer. Now last episode I talked about how to modify your hardware store work light so that it ran cooler and was more compact. Viewer Cameron McCaslin pointed out that by removing the glass in the front of the light I was essentially creating a dangerous hazard, something that would no longer protect the user from an exploding bulb. Now to be honest, I didn't even think about this, I just thought it was de-weatherproofing the light and that that wasn't a big deal, but an exploding bulb is a big deal. No one wants to get hit by flying glass. He also pointed out that by using the Lowell Toda as, as an example of an open face light, that even the Lowell Toda has a safety screen between the bulb and the user. So does the Lowell Omni. So using Lowell as an inspiration, I further modified the light by putting in a safety screen between the bulb and us. You've probably already figured out how I've done this, but here it is anyway. Now for this, you're gonna need some scissors, a Phillips head screwdriver, a Sharpie, and some screen door material. Now use some scrap if you've got it. I didn't, so I had to buy some. This kind's made out of aluminum. I thought a Sharpie would show up well on it. The whole roll costs seven bucks. Now the first thing you're going to do is uh, disassemble your light. First thing I did on mine was to take apart the bracket, which usually comes off with two screws. Next up, you're going to take the frame off from around the uh, main part of the light, the frame that held the glass previously. That took all of one screw. The frame then comes right off, and I have my light. Next, stretch out the screen door mesh onto your cutting surface, place the light on top of it, and then draw around it with a Sharpie. You can then cut the mesh out with any regular pair of scissors, it cuts quite easily. And then trim it down to size. Then reassemble your light. Open the frame. Place the mesh inside. It should fit in somewhat loosely. If it's, a, if it's bunching up, you're going to want to trim it a little bit. Close the frame and reattach it with the screw. And that's all there is to it. You now have protection from an exploding bulb as well as a light that will run cooler. And let me just add that I would never in a million years want anyone to get hurt by anything they learn to build on this show. You should always run a safe set no matter how low budget. And if anyone does ever get hurt, they'll never work for you again and they'll tell everyone else about it. So be careful, practice safety, and remember, filmmaking should be fun, not dangerous. See you next time.